If you're one of the 500,000 people that watched my latest pink hair dye video, then you'll know that I decided to dye my hair pink using 16 different pink hair dyes at the same time. Yes, it was beautiful chaos and I actually genuinely enjoyed the outcome. My hair felt quite damaged, or at least I thought it was damaged, but it's been many months now and after a good solid conditioning routine, my hair has basically returned to normal. So of course, like anyone that has the best interests of their head of hair at heart, I decided that it would be a fantastic idea to take those 16 pink hair dyes that I used earlier in the year and mix them all together to create one perfect pink hair dye. Look, I'm not crazy, I'm just a little unwell. I like to pride myself on the fact that I've taken the whole self-isolation and social distancing thing very seriously. I have been locked up in my residence basically since March and uh, there hasn't been very much to keep me entertained. I fell into a spiral of reality TV where I binged watched every single Real Housewives franchise and aside from watching various Netflix series and Disney Plus series, I haven't had a huge amount to do. So naturally, I find that the hair that grows out the top of my head is endless entertainment for me. So please sit back and enjoy watching me mix together 16 different pink hair dyes. So I have all 16 pink hair dyes here in front of me. I have a little kitchen scale and uh, the reason I want to use the scale is just so I know I've got an equal amount of every single dye. <laughs> the only concern is that there might be some sort of I don't know, chemical reaction. Look, I'm no Dexter, but this is my laboratory and I have no idea what's gonna happen. 10 grams, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with 10 grams. So we're starting off, we've got Chroma Silk Pastels. Next, Revolution. Now this one, when I did my hair dye video, I was so surprised by just how vibrant this was, but it washed out really, really quickly. We'll go to this one. <gasps> no, no! Uh-oh, oh dear. Hang on, everything's fine. Now, Bright, this is the one that was my absolute favorite out of all of them. It definitely made my hair look the nicest and it's actually still in my hair now. Arctic Fox, now this one was a bit of a disappointment. I remember thinking it was so pretty on the strand of hair and look how it's like really pearlescent too, but it washed out really quickly and also when we applied it, it was a little bit patchy. Kiss Colors, this is the one that was from Korea and I really liked this. I love the consistency, how it's like this watery gel. So at least doing them evenly like this, I know that I can recreate it if I ever wanted to. I know the ratios. Lunar Tides. I remember being so surprised that this one looks so purple, but it comes out pink. Herman's amazing hair color. This one is quite dense, like a putty. Manic Panic, the fan favorite. The beautiful packaging Lime Crime that is such a disappointment. And last but not least, one of my favorites, which is Schwarzkopf Live. Look at that. This looks like some sort of terrifying Halloween thing. Looks like there should be like gummy eyeballs floating in there. Let's give this thing a mix. That's an interesting color. I don't think there was a single color in here that looked like this. The deed is done. It is ready to be applied to my hair. So my heart rate is racing. I don't know, I don't know why I'm so nervous. I'm really, really, really nervous. I'm not gonna do my whole head. Definitely not gonna put it all the way up to the roots because can you imagine like if this goes bad and if it, you know, washes out and it leaves my hair green or something, or if it damages my hair or breaks it off, if you put it all the way to the top, well, that's just a disaster. So I'm thinking I'll probably bring it up about halfway because worst case scenario, if this much of my hair gets ruined, I've been considering doing a bob for a very long time anyway. So I don't mind. All right, let's start with a strand this big. Interesting consistency. It's sticky enough that it kind of holds its shape, but also it's still quite runny. Here goes. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Right. We're off to an interesting start. I don't mind the color so far. <laughs> Does look a little tiny bit dark. Really hoping this isn't gonna be a hot pink. An issue that we had with our last video was as we were applying the colors, sometimes you'd be running it between your fingers like this and it wouldn't pick up in certain spots. Not sure if it'll come up on camera, but there are a couple of sections that still look very, very blonde. Damn it. How do I get the hair down out of the clip? I didn't think this through. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Oh my God. Okay, I give up. 
I'm not even using a mirror, I'm just using the viewfinder of the camera, so it's probably my first error. I wonder if I should be creating some sort of gradient. Like, should I really lightly be applying a bit of pink up here so that it fades from blonde to pink? Probably. I think I should probably do that. I really feel like a child playing with crayons right now. <laughs> there is literally pink everywhere. There's pink on the walls. How did it get over there? There's pink on the wall. My pants, the floor, my poor arm. If a professional like Brad Mondo ever saw this, you know, now's probably a good time for me to say, please subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> I know I'm not giving you very much incentive because I'm like a crazy person right now. It's on my face. Okay, now obviously I've ended up coming up a lot higher than I was supposed to. I got carried away, you know, I was like, I'll just start down here and then I ended up here and then, and now it's at my ear. I've really made a terrible mistake, guys. Please do as I say and not as I do. If you're ever gonna do something stupid like this, which I definitely recommend that you don't, I do not recommend that you mix together 16 different pink hair dyes, but you know, if you end up doing something like this, just do it on a very tiny part of your hair. Don't do it on like 80% of your head of hair. Imagine I get in the shower now and I start washing it and then it washes out and my hair is completely ruined. Imagine. I'm gonna feel like the biggest idiot on the internet. At least I uh, got a fun video out of it. I feel like I'm doing this side a lot faster than I did the other side. Am I getting better or am I not caring as much? That's basically how I finished university. And we're done. Look how perfectly portioned that was. You should be giving me a thumbs up just for that alone, let's be honest. Now I've got to figure out how long I want to leave this on for. I'm gonna say maybe 30 minutes. It's shower time. Come on, grab your bird. Did you know that bird's the word? So here it is blow dried straight and the first thing that I'm noticing is This side is darker than this side. There's only two reasons that I can think of obviously because I applied this side first This side was setting I guess you could say or developing while I was applying this side then I did the half hour timer So this side didn't have as long as this side or the other thing is maybe I just didn't apply it evenly Maybe I was like really heavy-handed on this side. I know I went over this side much quicker <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna curl it now. Wow, what a difference curling your hair makes. I love it, I'm so happy. The only thing that would make this better would be if I didn't have the terrible trashy regrowth. Hey, everything's better now. I'm gonna do what I did in the last hair video, which will be I'll record how many washes it takes until this fades out. If this washes out in a reasonable amount of time, doesn't leave my hair discolored, you know, like it doesn't leave a, a green tone behind or something like that, I may be tempted to do this again, and I could do it to my whole head. I, I have enough of the products. I mean, once they're gone, they're gone. I'm not gonna go to the effort of buying 16 new pink hair dyes, exactly the ones that I had there just to recreate this color. Obviously, I'm not gonna do that, but um, hey, I might just keep using it until it runs out. I don't know. Never. I will uh, talk to you guys in a couple of days. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you think of the colour. I hope it lasts at least five or six washes, ideally. That's that's what I'm hoping for. Okay, just had the first wash. I don't think it's washed out all that much, but I will have it up on the screen so you can see a bit of a comparison. It still feels the same old hair. Doesn't feel any more damaged or anything. I don't think I need to do an update every single time I wash it. But uh, based on how much it washed out just then, I reckon four washes and we'll see like a pretty significant loss of colour. <laughs> So that's it guys, that's everything. Obviously, as you saw, the hair faded slowly after about, I think it was eight washes, and it really did completely fade out. 
I was so surprised. At the time back then, I was really worried that mixing together those 16 different pink hair dyes and dyeing my hair with it, I was worried that my hair would, uh, you know, get very damaged or turn out a funny colour. I was scared that the colour wouldn't wash out or that there'd be some sort of crazy chemical reaction and all of my hair would fall out. But no, nothing like that happened. It washed out perfectly, my hair went straight back to blonde afterwards and months and months down the track, my hair has completely bounced back, it feels fine. In fact, to the extent that I will, once again, dye my hair with a concoction of 16 different pink hair dyes. Yes, that's right, I have so much of the stuff left over that I am indeed going to remix that formula. And in another video, I'm going to be attempting a gradient between blue and that pink. So if you'd like to see me do a video like that, if you're not sick of all the hair dye content, I'm sure you are by this point, but if you're not sick of the hair dye content, please click the thumbs up button on this video so I can get an idea of how many people are interested in me making that video. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!